The touching card features five images personal to Fergie, 59, including a photo of daughter Eugenie, new son-in-law Jack Brooks Bank, Beatrice and three of Andrew, who she divorced in 1996. One image was a never-before-seen image of the Duke with Mr. Booksbank and their daughters. While another was of Prince Andrew at Eugenie's October wedding in Windsor, and a final centerpiece-style image of him riding a horse. She also included an image of Beatrice and Eugenie with their arms around each other. Fergie signed off the card with the message, Life is such a celebration. Sarah herself did not appear on the card. Wish you joy and sparkles at this time. A photo of the card was shared on Instagram page at Royal Journal Finland with the caption, Christmas reply from Duchess Sarah. This is one is so special. Definitely one of my faf replies I love the photos so much in the card concept. The picture triggered a flurry of comments from the poster's fellow royal fans. With the post was an emoji with hearts for eyes. One said, I sent the Yorks a card on 7th December. I hope I will receive a reply too, it's gorgeous. Another said, congratulations on your reply it looks absolutely amazing, I can't wait to hear back from Sarah Duchess of York. As 2018 draws to an end, the Duchess of York will no doubt be spending time looking back on a sensational year that saw her finally welcomed back into the royal family after being cast out as a social pariah in the wake of her toe-sucking scandal more than 25 years ago. Prince Philip was said to have been furious with Fergie when news of the scandal broke while she was staying with the royal family at the Queen's Balmoral residence. This year however, her daughter Eugenie, 28. Mary wine merchant Mr. Brooks sank in Windsor in October and she was even invited to Prince Charles' birthday celebrations the following month. Fergie also attended Prince Harry's wedding to American Meghan Markle in May, which took place at the same venue as Eugenie's. She has also done numerous TV interviews. Sarah and Andrew remain good friends, and even live together in a plush royal residence called Royal Lodge the venue of Eugenie and Mr. Brooksbank's wedding reception.